Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our edit and update functionality for the property type. So I am actually creating this video very slowly because of all that is very simple on the code application. Literally, I will actually make all that video a little bit fast because that is very easy all that part. Okay, there is a lot of the things I have to do for a specific this project, but step by step, everything will be very clear to you. Okay, I have already created our total structure here. We successfully load our data table, okay, which is very important. One of the things, and now um, before delete it, I want to load one of the notification. So, for the notification, I want to use uh, one of the sweet alert. Sweet alert that is simple. Some of the code, if you go to your uh, course exercise file. That is very common one of the code for reasons here i have already write down this code as a toaster txt okay so if you i have already loaded our toaster message and you can see that is our at suite alert so for the suite alert i want to do i want to create first of all load that our suite alert one of the cdn link better i copy it and now we have to add that cdn link in our admin dashboard okay into the admin dashboard um, before our um, data table i want to do i want to better load that our suite alert and also we have to um, do i want to better go to our public okay if you go to that our public folder now i want to create another new um, js file if you go to that public into the, that is in our backend related issue right into the backend into our asset in our js they have the so many js file uh, better i want to do i want to create one of the new folder okay i simply create on the new folder as a code code and then i want to do in here i want to create another new file i just simply click as a save as and here i name it as a code.js okay so that will be one of the js file and here i simply created great so now i want to turn to access our asset and then js if you go to our admin dashboard into the admin dashboard um, there is an asset vendor right so i want to do um, you can see that is actually the asset js file link but i want to copy this script okay i copy it and after that sweet alert here i want to do and to paste it so right now i have created one of the folder in our asset and then js and after that i have created another one that will as a code and then i have created one of the new file as a code js so now that will be as a code okay code js great now that is actually our code js file here i have already created and into the code js file area i want to load one of the sweet alert um swap file that is one of the function okay i simply copy this function i simply copy it okay copy this function great so that is all the function simple function okay i copy it and i have already take that part now in our code js area i want to do and to paste it so that is one of the id as a delect id only now we have to do we have to call this delect id okay then that will be actually executed now i want to click as a save all and now if you go to again our all type page into the all type page and that is our delect okay here i want to call one of the id and id will be as a delect okay now our sweet alert should be executed if you now click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it okay now i want to delete yes you can see one of the sweet alert one is successfully loaded so here if you want to change that name you can also change that things you can also change that button name in that case only you have to go to that our code js and you can see there's are you sure delete this data there is a warning type icon so everything is in here if you want to change it you can actually change it so only now we have to call this our id as a delete okay I hope it's very very much clear to you i here also we successfully loaded both of these things great great so now or we have to create another route and also we have to delete it with a specific one of the id because before delete i want to do i want to add one of the notification that you are, are ready to delete or not okay so for the reasons here i simply paste it and then that is a route name i want to create another new route as a delete type okay and also here we have to delete it with a specific one of the id now I want to do and to create this type of one of the route. If you now go to our web route, that will be just like our edit. I copy it and here I paste it. Now our name should be as a delete type. I copy it. Now that will be as a delete. Okay, delete type. That will be as a delete type and also that have one of the ID. Right here, if you go, also I have passed one of the requested ID. 
now i simply take it now i want to create another new method as a delect okay delect type i copy it now i want to create this method in our property type controller after this okay after this i name it as a public function and our method name as a delect type and here also that have one of the requested id i want to do and to simply take that requested id great great now if you want to delete it it's very easy simply i want to call that our property okay that is a property type and property type will be as a find or fail our requested id first of all it will be get that id and then i want to call another laravel function as a delete simply i want to do and to delete it that's all okay so a specific this row or data would be deleted and after that i want to return redirect to our back page and also it should be written display some of the notification message as a property type deleted deleted uh, successfully and it will be written redirect to our not that page i want to better make it as a back page okay so that will be as a back page i simply take that as a back great that's all now if you click as a save all i want to do and to check it now if you refresh it now that is also getting that error here we have to run that optimize great now if you refresh it yeah perfect and if you go to our database now open it refresh it now there is another one as a test now i want to do and to delete this one so if you want to delete it so that will be as a delete or notification it will be visible if you make it as a cancel it's totally gone and rather than if you make it as a yes delete it now automatically it's updated as a property type deleted successful and you can see it's totally gone from here and also if you refresh it now that should be gone from here simple one of the code application here i have done okay friend i hope everything is very very much clear to you so you know next video i want to do in our project as i told you everything actually related with our project if you go to again our index into the font in index there is also another things we have to do like if you go to our all page okay that is all page that means our property details page into the details page area here you can see that i have already added these things in here our multi images will be needed when i insert that our add property it will be very very important one of the things i hope you will like it very much here we will actually add multiple things okay and also here you can see they have some of the amenities i want to do i want to create another simple code application for the amenities okay so it should be very easy only one field will be needed but that is very important one of the part you can manage it uh, from to the back end when we will add some of the property so that will be actually needed okay so how to add create another code application for the amenities i hope you already know what exactly the things you have to do but in our next video i want to work for our amenities code application so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video